Good morning, guys. Welcome back into my channel. So in this lab, we're going to speak about create an example consumption with flow in multi-tenant Azure Logic apps with the Azure portal. So this article being updated on the 15th of this month. So, um, so not that to create a standard logic app workflow that runs in a single tenant, Azure Logic App instead, C creates standard logic app workflow, bang, bang, bang. So for more information for multi-tenants. So this example workflow use the RSS connector and the Office 365 Outlook connector. So the RSS connector provides a trigger that check on, I mean, that checks on RSS feed based on the specified schedule to the Office 365 Outlook connector provides an action that send an email for each new item. So the connector, this is an example of only two connector among hundred hundreds of connectors so you can use this workflow while this while this example is cloud based azure logic apps support workflow that connect apps data services and service and system across cloud on premises and hybrid environment so the following screenshot shows the high level example of workflow so in the feed is published and an email. So these are the steps. It's kind of showing you that as the progress. So create a consumption, select the blink, bang, 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 add a trigger, add an action, and when your, your workflow. So that's basically the prerequisites. Create a consumption, um, logic app. So you could take a look at this yourself. And um and see if you can benefit from this um, yourself. So I just gonna, you know, just ran down into these, just browse into this or scam into it and um, And just let that be. Okay. Now, you could take a look at this yourself. Like I said, when you are done, setting should look like this. Bing, bing, bing. Okay, guys. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start making this configuration today. All right, so first thing first, let me pull up this um portal, just hit refresh. And I can click on logic app. If you don't have it yet, you could you know, go on the search bar and then look for it. So, so on the logic app, ding, ding, ding. So I can, I can create a new resource group. Sorry, RG1. And for name, I could call it AZ, AZ Logic Opt. I can, this is not available. Oh, name, should I give that? Uh, 
Okay. Say easy. Top logic. And um, for plan type, I could pick consumption. Can put it on a region, East US. And I can enable the analytics. I don't really need this. I can enable. So the, I mean, I can leave this. I mean, I can disable the analytics. Okay, next, say we view and create. Now, guys, note that if you selected an Azure region that supports availability zone, redundancy, the zone redundancy section is automatically enabled. So this preview section offers the choice to enable availability zone redundancy for your logic app. However, currently supported Azure region don't use West US. So you can ignore this section for this example. So now let's review and create. Now, okay, so now let's go to this resource. Give it some time. Now you may wonder, what is Logic App in Azure? Well, Azure Logic Apps is a leading integration platform as service IPAS built on a containerization runtime. Deploy and run Logic Apps anywhere to increase skill and portability while automating business critical workflow anywhere. Now you may wonder, what is the difference between a logic app and function app in Azure? Well, Azure Functions is a serverless compute service, while Logic App represents a serverless workflow. So in Azure Functions, the event triggers the code in Logic Apps, the event trigger the workflow. Overall, Logic App enables serverless applications to automate and orchestrate business processes and workflows. Now, if you wonder what are the two types of logic app, so workflow logic app provides a graphical way to model, to model your business processes as a series of steps or a workflow. So manage, connect all logic app need access to data and services. So since this is taking time before it shows, we might as well just go, you know, to different questions. Now you may wonder what is the difference between Azure logic app and automation? They are essentially the same base product, but were presented in different ways. Power automated license per user, while Azure Logic Apps are consumption based. So Power Automated also targets end user and does not have access to enterprise features such as sharing, management, and automated and, and power automated with 
flow between user. See what's going on here. Just refresh to see. Okay. So now, now that we have our logic app being displayed, So we just have to go to under the template, we're going to select a black logic app. And we're gonna add a trigger. So it's going all. So from the trigger list here, we're going to select RSS, which is this one here. And then We can click on this. So we're gonna provide this. Now, so the RSS you are, so bang, bang, bang. Probably that determines. So this is the properties. So choosing that will be determined. You could either choose update. So this year, sorry, this year, so this is to save that. Now to change the connector, See, we could change here, could make this minute or hours, days. We could add parameter for time zone, start, start times and stuff. So, so we have a bunch of stuff here. Now, now I want to be, so I want that to be a trigger for logic that if you're not familiar with RSS, so this is really simple indication. So it stands for, this can actually notify me when content on the website change. So if you have a favorite news website, you you could possibly subscribe to an RSS feed that says 
whenever there is a top story, I want you to send me an email to get my attention. So all this big news website like CNN, Fox News, or MSNBC, and um, so I can use this E, I mean ESPN. So when I go to, e so if you if you go to like some of these big websites, let's say CNN, CNN.com. I can use these I to send me like I could say that I have this RS, RSS feed item published if I click so I can make this send me notification every time there's a news that's come on these Let's say like when there is a news in the US or whenever it is. So I can use my RSS to notify me every time there is something come up. Now you could You could create an RSS. The way to do that, you would go ahead and pick up your, your website and you would go here, you would paste this and then You could say like in either one, two or five minutes, or I could put this on five. You could go here and say whether you want this to be second minutes, hours, days, weeks, and stuff like that. So it's either whatever you want, that to be I can leave it as minute and I can so all we define here is a link to the RSS and the interval that we want to check for update So now you would go on new steps you could go on new steps and and I could click all You see, we have different things here. Now, if I can't find what I'm looking for, I could go here and type in, send an email. Just give it a, give it a minute. Now I get the Outlook, the Office 365 Outlook here that shows, so I click on that, and now it says, what's your reaction? I can type, I'm sh I mean, I'm sure it's like type since I, so, so I can just filter through this a little quicker. There is an option to send an email Office 365. So let's see. Send. 
see there it go here so send an email for my share mail http send an email with option so that's different kind of things here but i will click on this now it asks to sign in you could click sign in for art um let's make this be a new one let's go to um By the way, I don't remember my password. Hold up, I gotta find this password. So and be aware, this currently does not work. Let's go back out and see if we could grab this. Sign in again. If it gives us the other one by default, well, let's let it be. Okay. Um, basically, I don't have that here with me, so I'll just back out. I can use. Let's see, Taylor. Um, Let's use this one instead. Let's change the. I don't remember my password. So it's hard to continue with this um, simulation. But basically, the purpose of this is Microsoft So if if there is an action, it could send me a notification to notify me things that I want to do in this logic app thing. So So this is just the action that you want to notify you if there's anything happen. Now, if I could have logged into my email, I would set that up and that's basically all that would be. You would have to set that up and um, and you will receive an email whenever there is an action happening. So thank you so very much, guys. This is very user-friendly. It's not hard. It's just that you have to follow the steps and see. Um, this is not really. Um, now the steps are here. So on all these examples, this is the rest of that you would have to do, but you have to have an email so you can log in and receive notification. And should you have a question, you're free to reach out and ask any question. I'll be more than happy to assist you with this. I apologize, I can't continue this because I don't have an, I mean, an email. I'm using some somebody else's account to perform these um these demos because otherwise i would have to pay for that i don't have a student account so i'll see you in the next lab thank you bye-bye